So doing another solo episode last week talked about forgiveness and the story of my dad and this week's solo episode is going to be a little bit more focused on business really around playing the long game. This is something at Sweetfish that our strategy directly correlates with. It is a very much a long game strategy. I'll share some numbers with you just to give you context. If you've been listening to this show for a while, you know that You know, our core strategy is inviting our ideal clients to be guests on our podcast. We create really great content with them, fueled by their expertise, their knowledge, and make them look like rock stars. We distribute that content, but in doing so, in, in doing that type of content marketing, we are simultaneously creating a one to one relationship with that guest who, like I said before, is an ideal client for us. And so there's a high likelihood that that person can end up becoming a customer of ours. So it's this, it's this one-to-one approach that also lends itself towards a one-to-many, you know, the the content marketing approach of of reaching the masses and then having people come to you that want to work with you. Um, All that to say, the reason this is a long game approach is in the one-to-one relationships that we're building with guests. So, so far I'm recording this early March in 2018 and up to this point we have closed nine deals. So we've got nine, nine new customers that have become Sweetfish clients so far in 2018. Of those nine new deals, five of those customers have been guests on our podcast. Two of those customers have been a guest in the last two to three months. Uh, Three of those customers were a guest over a year ago. And it's those people that were, have been, were a guest over a year ago that to me really uh, brings home how much of a long game strategy this is. It's also short term. I said that, you know, we had a, we've had, we had one client talked about this on LinkedIn the other day that six days after we did the interview, uh, they ended up saying, yeah, we want to, we want to work with you. The timing was right. They were, they were in a position where they wanted to do a podcast and, and, uh, and that's what we do. And so it worked that it, it was rarely happens that quickly. Um, but then we had another client, I think we interviewed them, I think a couple months ago and that they're now a client. So it's, it's short term, but it's also, it's, it's also long term. The fact that three of those new customers were a guest on our show over a year ago uh, is crazy to me. Uh, but when you're, when you're bought in on a strategy like this, the, the B2B podcast strategy where you're inviting ideal clients to be a guest, you, you can't be discouraged when it doesn't, when you launch your show and three months later, it doesn't produce results. And, and that's the same with, I think so many things in life. I was just at lunch or it wasn't even lunch. It was like a little coffee meeting with a friend of mine that I hadn't connected with in a really long time. And he's just getting his, his business off the ground. And, um, it, you know, he, we were just saying, you know, the, the people that win in life are the people that stay consistent with something, not with everything, but with, with their thing, they are wildly consistent. They show up over and over and over and over and over again. And for me, being a relational person, I love having conversations with people. I love getting to know people. I love building relationships. So for me to do me, a podcast makes sense. Maybe for you, it doesn't. Maybe you don't thrive in that, in that environment. There's another thing that you need to do to drive the results that, that you're looking to drive but I think this idea of playing the long game, whatever it is, whatever strategy you deploy, maybe it's not a you know B two B podcast strategy, maybe it's something else. But knowing that nothing, there there are no there are no quick hits. Like if if you're if you're just chasing hack after hack after hack and 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 short term win after short term win, you're you're gonna burn out. Um, find something that works do it over and over and over again and and the rewards will 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 be incredibly beneficial. I mean, we're we've been doing this podcast now for 2 years. We are seeing more more fruit 
from our show in the last two months than we probably have in you know in a, in the first year and a half. It builds. You get better at your craft. You get. We've gotten. We've fine tuned who we ask to be on a show. On the show, we've fine tuned how we engage a sales conversation after the interview. Before we not, we we wouldn't mention anything about what we do on the interview. Uh, you know, there, there's you you adapt and you and you get better at it. And because of that, you you end up compounding your success. But if you're always chasing the next. The, the next quick hack, you don't give yourself to t- the time to get better and to figure out the nuances of it um, and ultimately see better results with it. So something that's top of mind today, hope you're enjoying these solo episodes. Uh, if you're not, I think we're having these release on Saturdays, so you can just ignore your podcast feed on Saturdays if, if you do not like uh, hearing just from me. But I like having a platform like this to, to share my thoughts and, and how I'm thinking. If you want to connect with me, would love to connect with you on LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, email james at sweetfishmedia.com. Really love hearing from this community that we've built of, of listeners and, and guests that have become listeners. Uh, so any, any, any note you send me saying, Hey, you know, love the podcast, listen to the podcast, uh, would be music to my eyes. Um, and I would, uh, I would love to hear from you. So connect with me, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, and, uh, hopefully I will hear from you soon.